Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. As we've been doing, let's hop into the results, see what we did last episode, and see where we're headed today. So our last race was Darlington, throwback weekend. We qualified 24th and we were able to finish in the 18th position. That puts us at 27th in the season standings. Our goal is only top 35, so we're well on the way to complete that. We just have to keep having decent runs, and I think we'll get that one for sure. And going into the calendar, today's race is going to be at Bristol Motor Speedway. Should be fun. We definitely shouldn't crash into anything at all. Before we make any changes, let's just run some practice, get a good baseline, see where we're at. Ooh, car is definitely blown. car is definitely loose off the corner let's try and fix that before we go crash again okay I made some quick changes and now let's see if we can make it a lap without crashing still so loose as soon as I touch the throttle. I don't know if I'm just going too fast through the corner or, or what's going on, but... Yeah, that's uh that's not good for lap time. That's not good for lap time either. Car high. That's definitely not good for lap time. All right, let's make some more changes. So this time around, I did a wedge adjustment as well as a spring adjustment. And let's hope we have made some improvement. Oh, I didn't have to lift off the corner, so that was uh, that was a plus, I think. Yeah, the car definitely feels a lot better just from running, you know, a lap and a half. I still have to pedal it a bit out of the corner, but we're three tenths faster than we were. So that's definitely a good sign. Car low. That didn't help. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry. Okay, well, we ran a 16-7. And then we blew the motor, trying to stop. Let's qualify. 15-6. Yikes. So if we run a 16-7... 
We'll be top 20, but nowhere close to the front. Go, 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 go. Let's hope we get a solid get up to speed lap. Okay, we didn't slide too much out of the corner, so that's nice. Got a decent arc in, but our exit wasn't super great. That should be an okay lap. All right, let's see where we play. 16 9, so I think we'll be low 20s. Twenty fifth. All right. Yeah, fifteen sixty seven. That is. That's nuts. All right, Alan, tell us about Bristol. Are you ready for intensity on wheels? I'm Alan Bestwick. Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. Bristol's 36 degree banked concrete bullring provides some of the sport's most exciting fender bang and racing. 147,000 permanent seats and a half mile layout guarantees the crowd is loud and hungry for action. All right, guys, in the comments now, tell me how many times you think I'll crash. All clear. So we've got 65 laps. That should be two tanks of fuel. I'm sure once the tires wear a little bit, we'll probably slow down. So we should be fine making it on two tanks of fuel. Definitely got some sliding coming out of the corner. If I had a crew chief, I would already be giving them info for what we need to do for the next run. Oh, Carlo. Elliot. Carlo. Oh, come on. I'm getting passed by fake Jimmy Johnson. Carlo. So I think the uh, Jimmy Johnson car in this playthrough is what would happen if Jimmy didn't get hooked up with Chad Knaus. He'd be running 30th every week. You're all clear, Carlo. Still there, Carlo. Low. All right, I think we've got a pretty okay rhythm going. Still there. Just trying not to slide coming out of the corner and if we can keep from crashing, I think we'll be okay. But also who thought it was a good idea to paint some of the front stretch concrete the same color as the wall? Like the back stretch, they're two very distinct different colors, the track and the wall. And then you come up here, like why? Why would you put the track and the wall the same color? Who thought that was a good idea? So besides the nose, we have somehow not damaged the car at all. We did slide back to 30th, which is a bit of a bummer. And is that Mark Martin right behind us already? Okay, we got 10 laps and then got lapped.
Still there. All clear. My only hope is that uh, our car gets better through the run while other people get worse through the run and then maybe we can make some passes on the back half of the fuel run. Like we just ran our best lap ever. But I also have to be mindful of people a lot faster than me coming through. Rusty Wallace. And Kurt Busch as well. I am definitely having a hard time passing on the high side. Okay, yellow's out already. Lovely. Okay, so we're already a lap down. We're not gonna get that lap back because this game's dumb. I can either not pit and hope I somehow get around the leaders, which isn't gonna happen, or I can pit, hope for no cautions and maybe be able to run long. That's my best guess. I think I'm gonna pit. We somehow have one of the cleaner cars on the track. That is not something I'm used to saying. Looks like I might be the only lap down car pitting. Was Jeff Burton a lap down? Or am I just pitting with the leaders? Maybe they're doing like a quick yellow and just everybody pitting at once. Okay, let's go. Come on. Radical. 41st, let's go. So we have 42 laps to go. We should have... We should have 32 laps of fuel. I don't think we're gonna save 10 laps, so. I will have to pit again eventually. Just smashed the nose, that's fantastic. And smashed up the right side. Awesome. Give it up for Clear top low. 40. Car low. All clear. Car low. Clear low. Still there. All clear. Carlo. The car head is pitted. All clear. Who in the world is pitting? What a bad idea. The 20 car is headed into the pit. 
Interesting. I feel like you lose probably two or three laps pitting under green here. So, very interesting strategy. The car head is pitting. So I think Kevin Harvick and Bobby Labonte are about the only cars that'll not have to pit in the next 10 laps or so. I think just about everybody else is gonna have to. Carlo. All clear. So I've been trying to just like lift lift at the flag stand and then coast instead of breaking into the turns to see if I can maybe save some fuel but no idea if I'm gonna save much at all this game doesn't really seem to uh, calculate the fuel save very well Also, there's a very high likelihood that we get a crash soon. So, if there's a caution, obviously that throws a big wrench into the need to save. But I think as it sits right now, we're in a pretty okay position for a while anyways. So we're nine laps short making it. So like I said, I don't think that's gonna work, but if a caution comes out in the next 20 laps, with us being in now 12, you know, just the, the cycling forward part helps us out quite a bit. Oh, buddy. You're all clear. Oh. Oh. Well, we're still moving. Our engine's unhappy, but we're still moving. Well, we have got it to only eight laps short now. <laughs> Carlo. Carlo. Yeah, I think at this point, the goal is gonna be just don't have to pit. Looks okay. like we're gonna definitely keep losing Hello. spots, but. Especially now with engine damage, there's not a whole lot we can do. Oh, I forgot with how many laps down we are, too. That puts us only like five laps short of fuel now. Still there. So I definitely think we can save that. You're three wide. You're three wide. You're all clear.
Yeah, we're running a second off of our best lap time because we've got quite a bit of damage, plus we're trying to fuel save. Carlo. Not as fun as I thought it might be. Carlo. It's crazy, guys that pit under green <laughs> have Carlo. made up the two laps or whatever on us. Spin in turn two, does that mean caution or does, uh, yeah, I would have thought that would have been a caution. Oh my goodness, he came up and clipped somebody. Really, no caution, NASCAR? That's, that's fine? That's just good old racing? Yeah, we've got somebody dead against the wall, but no caution. Tower's got a dinner reservation. There we go. So we're gonna pit just to fix up the car. And we'll see where the heck we cycle out. Yeah, car looks fine. Everything's fine. I wonder how much damage time we have. Hopefully the left side, the wheels being green was just the wheels and not like suspension damage, but oh, 15 seconds, totally fine. I just hope we don't get lapped again sitting in the pits. All right, let's go beat the pace car. Cool. Looks like we only lost a couple spots. I'm cool with that. So we're going green with under 10 to go. So it'll be one long line of cars versus having the lap down cars up next to the leaders, I think. I don't know why it's having me pass people, but whatever. So it says Ward Burton is a position ahead of me, but he's three cars behind me on the track. We might just finish this thing under caution because they don't know where to put anybody. The pace car is off. All right, pace car's off. Get set, the race is going green. Oh boy. Alright, we uh, spun the tires a little bit off of the start. My goodness. Okay, we lost a spot to somebody. Kenseth. Oh, sorry, Dale. Thought you were a better driver than that. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but I am not going to take responsibility. Okay. Yeah, that yellow might end the race. Three spots. Yeah. Back to 24th. Okay, front end's all tore up. That's fine. Yeah, we're not gonna pit. I think the race is just gonna end under caution. We'll see. Looks like we have guys lining up to pit, so maybe it won't end under caution. Or maybe they're just passing people? I don't know. I never know with this game. So it looks like we've passed Dave Blaney and Tony Stewart, the two cars that crashed under caution. So that's nifty. 
We have somehow made it up to 18th now. No idea why people are pitting with like two laps to go, but I'm okay with it. Two to go. What a gorgeous race car. Last lap. I think some guys might be running out of fuel. Because we're just driving around slow cars. Okay. Alright. Do we, uh... Do we go? Um... I'm not sure what's going on here. The pace car is off. Oh. Yeah, pace car, push me to the promised land, please. Oh, now we're going in reverse. Can we... Do we get to finish? Do we not get to finish? Well, um, okay, just reset us. Uh, are we gonna, are we gonna go? No? Um, well, I'm going to press quit. I'm going to see what happens and hopefully it keeps me at 18th. Let's hope. So it dropped us to 26th because what? So we lose 24 points. Plus multiple bonuses. This game is so dumb. So aggravating. The only positive here is we still made some money. That's the only positive we can take from this. Yeah, it's counting it that we had a DNF because the game is dumb. Cool. So that drops us back to 28th in the standings, unfortunately. Whatever. So annoying. Well, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. A decent run, unfortunately, gets derailed by a bug in the game. So I guess next time that we're coming to the end of the race, I'll just skip to make sure we can restart instead of having that happen again, because that was definitely a bummer. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, please drop me a like, subscribe if you're not, and leave me a comment if you have anything to say. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.